Okay, hot water system. So our hot water system to access to be able to operate that, we need to take off the cover, we need to open it up. So in transit wise, we'll have this cover over because that's giving us our dust proofing. So we'll undo the cover like so. We've then got the plastic cover. So as simple as just grabbing the cover, pulling it at the top, and that comes away free. You'll notice a couple of Velcro tabs. That sits in there, holds the lid on there. And now our hot water system is able to be used from inside, we turn our switch on and that will ignite that side of things. Sometimes if you were to find that it didn't ignite, you might have to come out here and give a slight blow into this general area where you can see the round opening hole in the background, <laughs> like that. Might dislodge just a little bit of dust that's picked up when you've been camped somewhere or anything like that if it wasn't to ignite after a few times. That's another option to try on that there. But um, simply to close it back up again, do not try to close the lid with the, the main plastic cover on there. You won't get it to shut. You're best off put the cover back on. The two bottom tabs, they've got their own little self-locators. Bottom first, push at the top, done. Close the lid, push in on that. That seals it back off so it's dust proof again. Okay, so just to show you how to turn the gas cylinder on, we, this is the one that's connected at present. So this valve we would turn anti-clockwise to turn that on. Uh, the other one hasn't got the hose in it, so that's in the back up side of it. We don't need to turn that on at all. So it's this one here, turning it on. And turn it off is obviously uh, clockwise. We'll turn that back off when we're finished with Okay, so we've taken our cover off. We've turned our gas on. So now inside here we'll come to our red vision screen. And I'm just going to reach behind as Wendy zooms in there and we will go to the home screen and I need to turn our water pump on. So it's got the one with the picture of the water tap there in this particular one. I'll turn that on and that's now ready. That's filling up the water tank. Everything's all primed. I now come over to our hot water switch and now I can select either 60 degrees or 70 degrees dependent on the, the temperature that you want the hot water at. So effectively I'll turn that on there now because this isn't uh, turned on with the gas and this is somebody's van we will have a little red light pop up here on the end and that there is saying that we haven't started the system up we haven't been able to ignite the hot water so effectively if that happens I'll turn it off again and I'd turn it on again I don't need to do that because we know the gas is not turned on um, but if it is working there will be no light here on the side. There will only be a light, a red light, when it's not working, full stop. Okay, so a couple of points just to point out around the hot water system here. Internally, we've got a, a valve that it shuts off our water supply um, to the hot water if we've got a leak or anything around the hot water, and also a valve there to shut off our gas supply if there was potentially a leak or anything as well. And I'll just highlight those two points here for you. So this one down here is our water supply here. This can be located in a couple of different positions internally in this area, but you'll see the line going to the hot water system. So that's our hot water there. That's open in that position there now, running parallel with the, the line itself. But if there was to be a leak or anything around this area gas-wise, we can turn that to the off position across the line that now isolates the gas to the hot water, but it still allows you to operate uh, your cooker and everything else that runs on your gas uh, inside the rest of the trailer.